Good morning for our. Good morning, ma'am. You may sit down. My name is Renette Roberts. I'm a grade four maths teacher at Struber Mill Primary School in Springs. Who can tell me what type of shapes are these? Precious? 2D shapes. 2D shapes. What type of shapes are these? Sia? 3D shapes. 3D shapes. I chose 3D shapes, um, specifically the properties of 3D shapes, and then I integrated it with data collection, analyzing, interpreting, recording. Right, I've got two examples of shapes here. 2D shape, 3D shape. What's the name of this, of this shape? So me shout out. And this is a? Sphere. Who can tell me the difference between the two? Unati. A 2D shape is flat, it has length and width. And the 3D shape is round, you can hold it, it has length, width and height. Very good, excellent. She said a 2D shape has length and width. Okay, and it's a flat shape. Can you see it's flat? Right. A 3D shape, she says, has length, width and depth or height. Okay, beautiful, you're a superstar. Please take out for me your envelopes with your 3D shape nets. You can open them up and you take out for me your yellow net. The envelopes that I asked them to take out was actually a cutout from the DBE workbook one. In the back of the book, there's examples of 3D shaped nets and they're all different colors, which makes it easy for me to teach it for them because I can ask them to take out the yellow net and we build it together and then they could see it was a cube and then having it practically in their own hands, they could identify and count the different faces. So this is a face. But now remember, if you turn your cube, it also has a flat part this side. And on this side, here's a flat part. So this is another face. Inside your envelope, you've got your little smiley faces. Ne? On each of these flat parts, I want you to take a smiley face and you quickly paste it. And as you paste, you count how many faces are you pasting. The objectives of my lesson today was to teach the learners about 3D shapes, um, specifically the properties of 3D shapes, and they needed to be able to identify the different shapes, tell me more about the properties, flat or curved faces, how many faces. Are you done? Okay, who can tell me how many faces does your cube have, Carmela? Six. Six flat faces. Very good. Take out for me your green net. We're not going to use sellotape to build it, it takes too long. All I want you to do is on the lines, quickly fold it, and you're going to keep it together with your fingers. And I just taught you now that a flat side is called a face. Now that you've built your triangular prism, quickly see if you can count how many flat faces the shape has. If you can tell me, put up your hand. Bootle. Five faces. Five flat faces. I'll show you quickly here with a big shape. One at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, beautiful. Take out your pink net. Your pink net. This is also a prism. Who can tell me what shape is this? Pentagon. A pentagon. Thank you, Seatley. This is a pentagon. And it's a prism, so we say this shape is a pentagonal prism. Okay, quickly fold in the lines, see if you can build this. When you're done building it, see if you can count how many flat faces. Celindo? Six faces, man. Let's see if she's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven. Right. Take out your orange net. Who can tell me what 2D shape is here? The cutouts in the back of the DBE book is uh, it's very nice to use. They're color coded, which makes it easy. Um, each child could cut out their cutout from the back of their book, and then um, each shape had a different color. So I could say, hold up, or take the yellow net, which was the, the cube, or take the orange net, which was the, the pyramid or the purple or the red, because each 3D shape had a different color, which made it easier for them to identify. Right, I want you to put all those 3D shapes 
back in your envelope. The ones that are left, you can go build at home. Right. What is the name of this shape? Khosiyami. Cone. This is a cone. Beautiful. Right. Now, what is that name of the shape? Khosiyami? Circle. A circle. Is it flat? Yes. What is this part? Is this part flat? This part. Can you see it's bent? We say that this face here is curved. A curve means it goes like this, ne? It's not a straight line, it's not flat like this. So this face here is a curved face, because it's bent. Let me show you what this, the cone's neck looks like. Can you see, this is the flat part. Look at the curved part that they folded. Can you see what curved means? I have to fold it. The reason why I use the cone from my depictor shape set was I can take out the, the net from the inside and then I can open it and show them that the